So we bought Mr. and Mac, the warehouse in Detroit that we're converting into our home back in May. It is now July. So technically we are surpassed a year and I'm like, things are looking good, but not good enough. We are just so busy because we run Woodworth Throwbacks. We design furniture and we also design interiors, primarily using reclaimed materials and we're busy. So I'm excited to share with you that I brought in the troops, my dad. AKA Papa Chef, he is like the best person in the world. He is a jack of all trades, he's a contractor. He's the one that taught me everything that I know. And he's really helped us on all of our real estate developments and all of our interior design projects and like brought them home into the finish line. So first thing on our punch list, which is the stove. We got it working. <laughs> Why are you tapping it though? Well, um, there's a little corrosion. It's like an unfrequent travel path. It <laughs> needs to remind itself where it needs to go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in here. Just need a little persuasion. Is it because it's so old? Yeah. It's a really good stove, but it hasn't been working for years. It took me hours to clean this thing. I can see. Yeah, I like scrubbed. I think I also low-key yeah, messed look. up the floor too. Oh, wow. It works perfectly. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Turn off the heat. Okay. You see my screen? Here, you don't need that. So what I did is I took this off. Oh, uh, okay. And then you can take this part off. No, it's just it's just this. This top part. Oh. Yeah, I think it's not light. It also goes into a drip tray right in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so this is a good little bit, right? Oh, wow. Hi, sweetie. Wow, that's a lot of heat. <laughs> okay. Nice, I can finally bake. Kyle oh. promised that he was gonna start baking that's bread. Sweet. That would be awesome. Do I have to tap it every no, time? No. <laughs> once, you, once, once you get it going, see? Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, then it's good. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's good. Damn. Dad, this deserves a thumbs up. <laughs> hey, you're working with a good stove from the start. Can't go wrong. Okay, so Dad went to Atlas Plumbing, which is a local plumbing store. Yeah. Um, so I figured, let me give you a quick tour of what Mac is looking like. I mean, like I said, I mentioned that we moved in two weeks ago. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs> um, but no, it's constantly just cleaning. So, you know, we're comfortable. But other than that, you know, I still have so much drywall and plastering and sanding. That's Dad's bed that we made for him for the week. So he gets to be in the chaos um, while we stay upstairs. But other than that, I still have to finish mudding, sanding, painting, 
this wall. So this is our bar. Pretty much we had two of the tiles fall off a couple months ago. So dad is going to put that back up for us. We have a little bit more of that glass. And just to recap, all of this glass came from an old jewelry store in Ohio. It was part of the building's original facade, which is super dope. Um, but it's not dope that the tile fell off. And then leaving the bar, we have our dining room. So I've been plastering this area for like the past two or three days. And you know, it looks, it looks okay, it looks good. I'm into it. Um, it's just so dusty. Like, you guys, my skin is so dry. But other than that, it's coming along. Our team installed the bin cut made out of salvage parquet flooring. Our custom dining room table is in. Um, my team built it, so we hopefully are gonna be installing that on Friday. Um, but like, it doesn't make sense to install the dining room table if I don't get a chance to paint because just plastering all of this already with the bin cut in the way is just, it's a nightmare. So I'm like, let's leave the table where it's at until I get to finish plastering and painting and all that shit. Also, another thing on our punch list is we are finally going to finish these doors. So these are our back doors leading into the garage. We have some amazing um, opaque stained glass that we're going to, and it's just not stained, it's clear, but it has like this like frosted kind of like floor, floor, floor texture. Um, so we are going to install that. And then last but not least, this is what our kitchen is looking like right now. So I designed this custom island that is made out of salvage oak, or sorry, pine, heart pine timbers that came from a Lincoln Automotive Factory here in Detroit. And so it's so beautiful. We actually were going to make countertops out, out of salvage slate chalkboards. <laughs> Trust me, I know we're kind of wild. We've done it before, it looks great. But we decided not to do it because even though we have used the salvage slate chalkboard and use it as furniture, tile, etc., for a four foot by 12 foot island, it is a lot of chalkboard. And the thickness of the material varies so much that it would just be a pain in the ass. So we decided let's, let's not do that. So probably wondering what are you using for your island? So we went to one of our local marble supply stores and they have the most amazing slab of like this dark green soapstone. So he also gave me a price that like I couldn't refuse. I'm like, it's gorgeous, but how much? And then once he told me, I was like, okay, let's go, let's do it. So I'm hoping that sometime this week he'll come in and do the final measurements so we can at least have one thing finished in our space, which would be our island. So fingers crossed, pray for me. And then last, 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 but not least is our back wall. So this is still part of our kitchen. We're doing all custom cabinets. Um, as you can see, we did do RTA cabinets for this bank. But we, my team is doing, or my team is making custom cabinetry for this back area. So we got our fridge and all that jazz, which is really important. But yeah, I just have to tweak a few things in my design, but our team should be fabricating at probably end of week, next week, which is really exciting. Oh man, look at this haul. <laughs> all right so dad's also gonna hook up our water heater because we haven't had hot water but taking been taking cold showers for the past that's about to change <laughs> i'm not taking no cold shower dad's not taking cold showers he refuses but it's just Unless like it's in a river <laughs> 
I was like, just channel your inner like Jamaica vibes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, like, it's been really hot in Detroit, which is cool, but at the same time, yeah, taking cold shower kind of sucks. <laughs> Okay, it is day two. <laughs> uh, yesterday was interesting. Um, we got done everything on our punch list and started doing a little bit more. Um, we ended up all just going out last night. So we kind of had an early night, kind of had a late night. But anyways, today is a new day and I'm super excited to get done. What else is on our punch list? So we are repairing some of the black glass from our bar that fell off. Um, we are setting kitchen cabinets, which is like really exciting. Mm. Install glass and garage doors, install bathroom door, Freddy. It's not. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much Tuesday. And then I am actually working today. Yesterday, I was on my computer all day. So you guys probably just like, what? Desmond's doing all the work. Yeah, he was. So uh, today, I am going to be doing some drywall and some plaster. Also, the boys and Kyle are on the way. So uh, yeah, the whole team's gonna be here. Are you excited to see the boys? What's that? Are you excited to see the boys? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been a minute, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a full house. Crews rolling in for a day full of work. <laughs> Shoot the line. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of hard. And these two are gonna be easy. We're gonna start these two. They'll be the easiest. Yeah. But we gotta offset it about four the wall, offset it, and then we can screw into it. What's the Shift air screw gap? Up. The air gap's gonna be coming over to here where the pipe's at. So I think we're gonna be like an inch and a quarter. But I mean, we can just do like a full two by four, like inch and a half. Yeah. Which should make it easier. Yeah. Can we make sure that our marble is wide enough before you? It's wide enough. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? How wide is it? I don't know. It's wide enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is that for all the shims? Yeah, you can just set here. I know, I should probably clean up the island, make some room. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Uh, all the room? Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll do that before I start yeah, drywalling. Yeah, take a look at this. Yeah. Solid wood, and this is solid maple. Um, Are you adjusting the drawers? Yeah. Kyle couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it's like really, it's really weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's super well, On the other ones, the smaller ones, I adjusted it and it was fine, but this one was so out of whack that I felt like yeah. it was like beyond the limit. It could be, these drawers could be missing. The same size. Yeah. It could be like where the face sits even. Could not figure that out. I mean, they're all the okay. same parts. Kyle's yeah. measuring <laughs> out the cabinets because we are going to be picking out yeah. marble in a little bit. Welcome to the stone yard. I love marble so much. So whenever we get an opportunity to save marble from schools, churches, buildings in the city, we're like, okay, let's go for it. Um, salvaging marble is a very difficult task um, because it's so heavy, but I love it. It has so much baked in texture. Yeah, this is pretty much the last of our stock. We've designed so many spaces using this material. We've done countertops, custom vanities. Um, we made small home decor. So this last little bit we are going to use for our project. Um, and yeah, me and Kyle already kind of picked what slabs we're going to use for our countertops. And I'm almost thinking that this slab I think this is the first slab that we're gonna cut. So cool. Try not to drop this thing because, like I said, we don't got that much marble. It's precious material here. But yeah, I will keep you guys posted once it starts getting to cut. Oh. 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 
end of day. The boys did it again. No photos, please. Huh. They did it again. <laughs> ah. Ooh, another dollar. Ooh, six dollars. First of all, stealing your money, bro. Why are you stealing my money? People well, stop robbing me. Yeah, it's volunteer work. Wow, this is actually a huge bonus. Five bucks. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just volunteers. Anyway, take that out. Hmm. It looks like that's mine. I think you should leave that. That's oh, mine. Yeah. <laughs> this tool I use all the time. This is why we have no tools here because these dudes be taking them. They're Don't mine. go through my box of things. Is that yours? Yeah, I put the yellow tape on so I know it's mine. Are you sure? Yes, 100%. It is his. Cool. <laughs> we'll keep it here. I need it for this weekend. Things are looking real good. <laughs> Stove is in. Dishwasher is placed. Not hooked up yet. But yeah, I think, uh, what's it called? We had a huge punch list for day two. And yeah, I mean, there's definitely a couple things that we didn't knock out, but for the most part, like what? Um, we wanted to do some work on the bar. Oh. Maybe we'll do that tonight. We'll but yeah, bathroom, sink, and faucet, cabinets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did pretty well. All right. Let's see what happens on day three. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm here. I'm trying to. All right, give me, give me a minute. I'm just, I'm just waiting for my, I'm just waiting for my paperwork. So, dad broke his thumb. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Pretty much, he was just hammering and just like went full body force on his thumb, and he's just like, yeah, like. I think it's broken. So we made a made chef splint. Um, but yeah, I came back from the gym this morning and Kyle and my dad were already gone. And I called them just like, yeah, we took dad to the emergency room to get an x-ray. Um, and yeah, it's confirmed. Broken right at the tip. So we'll see, we'll see what we get done. It's honestly a beautiful day. So I definitely want to be outside and grill and hang. So it's not gonna be a super hardcore work day but hopefully we can get some stuff done. We'll see. Let me see. It's a cast. Do you think you'll be able to work today? Yeah, it's a removable cast, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe Dad broke his thumb. First bone ever. Yep. I've never broken anything before. <laughs> Does it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a tennis. So what a fail. Just dropped Dad off to the airport. We couldn't get anything done. We tried, he tried, really, um, but I didn't want him to force himself. So we ended up just enjoying the rest of the weekend once the beach did all the things grilled. Um, so while he's in recovery, back home, um, I guess I'm just gonna keep chugging along on doing all the things on our punch list, which I feel like we really didn't knock down a lot of stuff. But you know, this is what happens when you're renovating an entire warehouse. So, yeah, you guys, stay tuned. There's going to be more progress, I promise. Might just be a little bit longer than expected. But, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and definitely check out our Instagram to see more. Take it easy.